Welcome to The Wealth Works. Today we are going to be talking about mastering your personal finances. Tips and tricks for success. Personal finance is a critical aspect of our daily lives, and it refers to how we manage our money and resources. It involves making decisions about our income, expenses, debts, savings, investments, and insurance. Good personal finance management can lead to financial stability, freedom, and security while poor management can lead to stress, debt, and financial insecurity. This video aims to provide viewers with tips and tricks to help them master their personal finances. We will cover several essential topics, including understanding your income and expenses, managing debt, saving and investing, protecting your finances, and increasing your income. By the end of the video, viewers will have a better understanding of how to manage their personal finances effectively and take control of their financial future. Understanding Your Income and Expenses A. Explanation of the Importance of Budgeting Budgeting is one of the most critical aspects of personal finance management. It involves creating a plan for how you will allocate your income to cover your expenses, save for the future, and pay off any debts. Budgeting helps you track your spending, avoid overspending, and prioritize your financial goals. B. Tips for Creating a Budget Identifying Sources of Income 1. To create a budget, you need to start by identifying all the sources of income you have. 1. This may include your salary, freelance work, rental income, or any other sources of income. Tracking Expenses 1. Once you have identified your sources of income, the next step is to track your expenses. 1. Tracking your expenses will help you identify your spending patterns, prioritize your expenses, and identify areas where you can cut back. One. You can track your expenses using various tools, such as mobile apps, spreadsheets, or pen and paper. Differentiating between needs and wants. 1. To create an effective budget, it's important to differentiate between your needs and wants. 1. Needs are essential expenses such as rent, utilities, groceries, and transportation, while wants are non-essential expenses such as entertainment, dining out, and shopping. 1. By differentiating between your needs and wants, you can prioritize your spending and allocate your resources more effectively. C. Introduction to the concept of net worth. Net worth is a critical concept in personal finance management. It refers to the difference between your total assets and your total liabilities. Your assets may include your savings, investments, real estate, and other valuable items, while your liabilities may include debts such as loans, credit card balances, and mortgages. Calculating your net worth can help you track your financial progress and identify areas where you need to improve. Managing Debt A. Explanation of Different Types of Debt Debt is an essential part of personal finance, but it can also be a significant burden if not managed correctly. There are different types of debt, including credit card debt, student loans, personal loans, and mortgages. Each type of debt has its interest rates, payment terms, and repayment options. B. Tips for managing debt. Prioritizing high interest debt. 1. If you have multiple debts, it's essential to prioritize the debt with the highest interest rate first. 1. High interest debt can accumulate quickly and become difficult to repay, so focusing on paying off this debt first can save you a lot of money in interest charges. Creating a repayment plan. 1. To manage your debt effectively, you need to create a repayment plan. 1. This plan should include all your debts, their interest rates, and their minimum monthly payments. 1. You can then prioritize your debt and allocate extra payments towards the debt with the highest interest rate while continuing to make minimum payments on the other debts. 1. Creating a repayment plan will help you stay on track and make steady progress towards paying off your debt. Exploring Options for Consolidation or Refinancing 1. Consolidating or refinancing your debt can be a useful option to help manage your debt more effectively. 1. Consolidation involves combining multiple debts into one loan with a lower interest rate and a more manageable repayment plan. 1. Refinancing, on the other hand, involves replacing an existing loan with a new loan with more favorable terms, such as a lower interest rate or a longer repayment period. 1. Both options can help lower your monthly payments and make it easier to manage your debt. In conclusion, managing debt is crucial for maintaining good personal finance management. 
by prioritizing high interest debt, creating a repayment plan, and exploring options for consolidation or refinancing, you can take control of your debt and work towards becoming debt-free. Saving and Investing A. Explanation of the importance of saving and investing Saving and investing are essential aspects of personal finance management that can help you achieve your financial goals and secure your future. Saving can help you build a financial cushion and prepare for unexpected expenses, while investing can help you grow your wealth and build long-term financial security. B. Tips for building savings. Setting financial goals. 1. To build savings effectively, you need to start by setting clear financial goals. 1. Your goals may include saving for a down payment on a house, building an emergency fund, or planning for retirement. 1. Setting goals will help you stay motivated and focused on building your savings. Establishing an emergency fund. 1. An emergency fund is a critical part of saving that can help you prepare for unexpected expenses such as car repairs, medical bills, or job loss. 1. Experts recommend having at least three to six months worth of living expenses in your emergency fund. Automating savings. 1. Automating your savings is an effective way to make saving a habit. 1. You can set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account, which can help you save consistently without thinking about it. C. Introduction to investing. Explanation of different investment vehicles. 1. There are various investment vehicles available, such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, exchange-traded funds, ETFs, and real estate. 1. Each investment vehicle has its risks and rewards, and it's essential to understand the basics of each before investing. Tips for choosing investments. 1. When choosing investments, it's essential to consider your financial goals, time horizon, and risk tolerance. 1. You should also consider factors such as diversification, liquidity, and fees when selecting investments. Explanation of risk tolerance. 1. Risk tolerance refers to your ability and willingness to take risks when investing. 1. It's essential to understand your risk tolerance and select investments that align with your risk tolerance level. In conclusion, saving and investing are essential components of personal finance management. By setting financial goals, establishing an emergency fund, automating savings, and understanding the basics of investing, you can build wealth and secure your financial future. Protecting your finances. A. Explanation of different types of insurance. Insurance is a crucial aspect of personal finance management that can help protect you from financial losses. There are different types of insurance available, including health insurance, life insurance, disability insurance, property insurance, and casualty insurance. Each type of insurance covers different risks and offers varying levels of protection. B. Tips for choosing the right insurance. Health insurance. 1. Health insurance is critical for protecting you and your family from the high cost of medical expenses. 1. When choosing health insurance, it's essential to consider factors such as the plan's coverage, deductibles, copays, and premiums. 1. It's also essential to understand the different types of plans available, such as health maintenance organizations, HMOs, preferred provider organizations, PPOs, and high deductible health plans, HDHPs. Life insurance. 1. Life insurance is designed to provide financial protection to your family in the event of your death. 1. When choosing life insurance, it's essential to consider factors such as the coverage amount, the term length, and the premium. 1. It's also important to choose the right type of life insurance, such as term life insurance, whole life insurance, or universal life insurance, depending on your financial needs and goals. Property and Casualty Insurance 1. Property and Casualty Insurance is designed to protect your assets from damage or loss due to unexpected events such as fire, theft, or natural disasters. 1. When choosing property and casualty insurance, it's essential to consider factors such as the coverage limits, deductibles, and premiums. 1. It's also essential to choose the right type of policy, such as homeowner's insurance, renter's insurance, or auto insurance, depending on your specific needs. In conclusion, protecting your finances through insurance is essential for maintaining good personal finance management. By understanding the different types of insurance available and choosing the right insurance for your needs, 
you can protect yourself and your family from financial losses and achieve long-term financial security. Increasing your income. A. Explanation of the importance of increasing income. Increasing your income is a crucial aspect of personal finance management that can help you achieve your financial goals faster. It can also provide you with more financial flexibility and security. Having a higher income means you can save more, invest more, and enjoy a better quality of life. B. Tips for increasing income. Negotiating salary or benefits. 1. One of the most effective ways to increase your income is to negotiate a higher salary or better benefits. 1. If you're currently employed, it's important to research the average salary range for your position and industry and prepare a case for why you deserve a raise. 1. You can also negotiate for better benefits, such as more paid time off, flexible working arrangements, or retirement contributions. Starting a side hustle or business. 1. Starting a side hustle or business can be an excellent way to earn extra income. 1. You can leverage your skills, knowledge, and passions to offer products or services that meet a demand in the market. 1. Some examples of side hustles or businesses include freelancing, tutoring, pet sitting, selling handmade crafts, or offering consulting services. Investing in education or training. 1. Investing in education or training can help you increase your income potential by developing new skills or earning new certifications. 1. You can take courses online, attend workshops, or pursue a degree in a field that interests you. 1. By investing in education or training, you can open up new career opportunities or earn promotions in your current field. In conclusion, increasing your income is an essential part of personal finance management that can help you achieve your financial goals faster and enjoy a better quality of life. By negotiating salary or benefits, starting a side hustle or business, or investing in education or training, you can increase your income potential and achieve long-term financial security. A. Recap of the main points covered in the video. In this video, we covered essential tips and tricks for mastering your personal finances. We started by emphasizing the importance of personal finance and understanding your income and expenses. We then moved on to managing debt, saving and investing, protecting your finances through insurance, and increasing your income. We provided practical tips and strategies for each of these areas to help you achieve your financial goals and maintain long-term financial security. B. Encouragement to take action towards mastering personal finances. We hope that this video has provided you with valuable insights and actionable tips for mastering your personal finances. Remember that managing your finances is a continuous process that requires discipline, commitment, and patience. We encourage you to take action towards implementing these tips and strategies in your life, starting with creating a budget, paying off debt, building savings, and investing in your future. With dedication and perseverance, you can achieve your financial goals and enjoy a life of financial freedom and security.